Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my very first cosy book vlog. This is something that has been highly requested because I share a lot of my like book recommendations on Instagram. So I thought I would sit down and I have gone through the books that I've re read mainly this year there's a couple that I snuck in from the end of last year because they're just that good and I've got my like 10 favorite books that I have read kind of like within the last let's say like 10 months um so I'm not going to go like really in detail into them but I'm just going to go through them and I've kind of picked any that I have given four and a half to five stars to basically is how I've siphoned out all of the others um, there is a bit of a theme, who knew that I like a romance, that's become quite clear the last year, um, but yeah. I'm literally just going to go through my favourite books, I've got my cup of tea, I've lit a candle, I've got all the books here, some of them I read on like Kindle or library books, so I'm going to like, I'll show you the covers on the iPad and stuff, but yeah, 10 books um, that I highly recommend you read if you are into your reading, which it seems like it's becoming more and more popular, which is amazing. I've only just like started reading in the last year or so as much as I do um, and I just love it so much and it's becoming really popular and especially now we're going into like the autumn winter I thought it's the perfect time to chat books with you. So what I've done is I have put the books like into catches just to try and like fly through them because I don't want to sit here talking for hours and hours um, but what I have done is I have saved my top three so I'm going to show you those ones at the end and before that just kind of like fly through the others. Now I'm going to start off by being all kinds of cliche. If you are on BookTok or Bookstagram or anything then you will know there is a hype around an author called Colleen Hoover. I thought I'd jump on that bandwagon, see what it was all about and three of her books so far have made it into my top ten. Um, there's another one as well which I must have like only given four stars to rather than four and a half or five because it's not here um, but I'm going to go through the three that um, were my favourites. Now all of these books are in no particular order apart from the top three which I'll show you shortly. So the first one is It Ends With Us. I, this was, was this my first Colleen Hoover? I think this was my first Colleen Hoover because this was the one that all the hype was about basically online and um, they are, like she writes a lot of romance. She has written a couple of like non-romance but they all have kind of other underlying quite deep messages so if you are going to read any of the books I would definitely check the trigger warnings beforehand um, just because this one I think is about uh, like an abusive relationship this, I've read so much and so many that they kind of all blur into one um, but yeah they're, they're a romance they can be quite steamy um, but they all have kind of like other messages which I really enjoy about her books. I loved this one so much. Um, I won't go into too much detail because they're romance novels. This one is kind of a everything feels too good to be true and then somebody reappears from the past and um, things start to surface which show her that maybe everything is not as good as she thought it was. Um, and yeah it's I, I think I actually cried at this one as well. It's not very often that I cry at a book, but this one did make me shed a tear. Highly, highly recommend It Ends With Us. I struggled to get images of really good quality on my iPad to show you. I wanted to get like just all the covers so I could just swipe through, but it's not playing ball this morning. But anyway, my second Colleen Hoover book. I'm just trying to show you the covers so that you can see kind of what you're looking for when you're looking for the cover is Regretting You. Um, another one I absolutely adored. So again, this is a romance, but there's also it's also about a mother-daughter relationship and trying to kind of mend things that maybe are just too too far gone to be able to mend basically um, and it has tragedy in there again check your trigger warnings always um, and is really heartbreaking but it's just a really um, a really lovely story and you find yourself really I found I remember feeling really connected to the characters when you like you you feel like you're rooting for them um so yeah that is my second Colleen Hoover that I would recommend regretting you my third and final Colleen Hoover for this vlog is 
ugly love. Now this one is spicy. <laughs> it's very spicy as far as I remember. Again, they all kind of like merge into one. So just, if you like a bit of spice, if you like a bit of romance, then this is the one for you. This is kind of like an enemies to lovers is the main trope in this. Like sometimes you're just like, it's so it's so predictable that you know what's gonna happen, but it takes its time getting there. But also this was a really nice, quick, sharp read. It's a lot of, um, yeah, so like enemies lovers, they don't they don't want a relationship. You know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen in the end. But the journey to get there um, is just so well written. I just absolutely love how Colleen writes a romance novel. Um, so yeah, that's number three. I'm just gonna finish the ones that I've got shown on my iPad. Like I said, this is in no order whatsoever. And the next book, which this was actually one of our book club books, we read this kind of towards the beginning of the year, and this is this one by Jodie Picoult, um, which is called Wish You Were Here. So this is, it is a romance, but this was the first book that I read that um, was set during COVID, during the pandemic. So it was really, as you're reading, you just kind of think, like did this happen like did this really happen was this how we had to live our lives um basically the the lead protagonist gets stuck away from her normal life because of the pandemic um and there's a romance story there but also you just reading it you just it's just crazy it was just crazy to me this was the, there's been a few books since that have been written set during the pandemic but this was the first one i read and it was just I don't know, I loved it. And the twist, let me tell you, the twist. It's so good, it's so good. I, I remember when I was younger, like Jodie Pickle was a big thing. I've read a couple of hers since then. But this one, I just think it was just so, so um, well written for the period of time that it's depicting. Um, and yeah, I just, I just really reckon it's a really good read, it's a really lovely story, but also it just feels really current and like you can really relate. I mean, it's it's set in like an exotic climb, so maybe not relate as in like you're stuck in your boring house at home as normal, but it's just, yeah, it just feels like something that we've all been through together and you can really relate to the characters. Um, so yeah, that's that one highly highly recommend and the final book i've got to show you that i've got on my ipad i think i've given this to somebody else to borrow is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo again this has been quite popular on social media and kind of like the book world um i love taylor jenkins read i have read um probably about four of her books now um i love how they all interlink i've also read daisy jones and the six i have read one true loves and I have read um, Malibu Rising. Uh, I do love how they all interlink, but they're also their own independent stories. So you can read them without having read the others. They're not kind of like prequels and sequels and things like that. They're just their own books. But there's bits where you're like, oh, how are you reading? And it's all kind of like bits that you pick up that have been in the other books. But anyway, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It was just, it's written as um, kind of somebody interviewing. So not to the extreme that if you've read J.D. Jones and the Six, that's kind of like as if it's a documentary. It, I just think it's a really interesting way of finding out the story and finding out the information by these two people just having conversations. Um, again, the twist. Um, did I did not see it coming. I did not see it coming. Um, it was just amazing. I love how like, I don't know, you just feel like it's, like the glamour of it came through in the story and um, I think maybe I didn't feel as attached to to the main character as I thought I would and I think maybe the, the twist was good but it was just like quick and then played down a bit and I was like, I think they, they she could have just built up to a little bit more um, but um, I would always recommend this book to people to read if they want kind of something that's not a thriller and it's not a romance, it's just, romance it's just a really nice book um, and just any of hers basically Taylor Jenkins Reid great author and um, she has a new book coming out called Carrie Soto is back which does link to some of the others again I can't wait to read it although I'm like really scared that I'm going to be disappointed because I've loved all of her other ones but yeah Seven Husbands give it a go if you want something a little bit different the final two before I hit my top three are <laughs> their romances um I've spoken about this quite a lot on Instagram 
a few people have said that they've read it on my recommendation which is really lovely to read uh, to hear read to hear um, and this is the un honeymooners by christina lauren this is actually fun fact this is two people called christina and lauren they write together and um, one of their books is my top three um and i just find it really interesting because I, I, and i literally think they do like alternate chapters but you you wouldn't know they literally just write so so lovely together this is an enemies to lovers trope which i didn't think was my favorite but then there's been loads that have ended up i've scored four or five that have been like that theme so maybe maybe i do like it i, th I thought friends to lovers was always going to be my favorite but anyway the unhoneymooners so yeah they hate each other basically and this this couple have to go on a honeymoon together even though they weren't the, the pair that got married basically they the honeymoon doesn't want to go to waste so they go on it even though they hate each other but um i just love the story i love the setting i i i love them together i just think it's a really really great book next up it, again i've seen this a few times i've seen a few kind of like bloggers and bloggers mention this book the flat share i did read this quite a long time ago so um I feel like I don't really remember what it was about, but it's by Beth O'Leary. I've got a couple of others of hers on the shelf to read, which I haven't read yet. The just the I just remember the relationship between between the two main characters being so interesting. Like it was, you start off being like, oh, like I'm not sure about this person. Um, they they were like really aloof, and then you just you just warm so gradually towards them that you don't even notice it um, and it's just like it's just a really really lovely story um, it's a bit out there i don't think it would ever happen in real life unless you're very very trusting um but yeah so a really lovely if you want like a nice easy holiday read which you're just going to really enjoy and it's something a little bit different um then then this is definitely the book for you now my top three i'm looking at them they're all the same color i wonder whether i'm like drawn to like yellowy beiges because they've all got yellowy beige covers i don't know what order to do them in oh i really don't know what order to do them in the, okay let's just say there is no order i'm just going to go through them my first one is this book this is called love and other words and this is the one by christina Laura, who i mentioned earlier with the honeymooners um so this is about um, some friend, they were friends when they were younger um, and then their lives kind of collide back together. I, d I just, I, c I can't explain how much I loved this book. I think all I can say basically is it's it's just so, so simple, like it's, there's no gimmicks, it's just beautifully written, it's just all about how a boy and a girl grow up to love each other and to continue loving each other it's just like it's just so honest it's just such a like such a beautiful story it's so simple so wonderful um it broke my heart into a million pieces <laughs> um but yeah I, I i'm i don't very often go back to reread books but i think this one might be might be a reread for me very soon actually because just sitting here talking about it and showing you it is making me miss it <laughs> Elliot Macy, I love you. I love this book so much. And the next two, they're not romances, guys. They're not romances. So the penultimate book I'm gonna show you is this one, The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare. Um, this, this, just the message in this book is incredible. Um, it's about a young um, teenager in Nigeria who is um, forced to marry basically um which i when i did my research whilst and after reading the book was truly shocked to find is still it's still a thing it's still a tradition um, young girls are still going through this in other parts of the world um but it's about this um girl aduni 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 forgive me if i'm pronouncing that wrong um, basically she she won't be quiet she wants to fight and it's just like so amazing i mean like there's like she goes through tragedy she goes through the hardest of times um and she just goes on this journey which 
she wants to change her life basically um i struggled at first because it's it's written in a dialect so it's written as if it's this nigerian girl speaking english but with a nigerian dialect so it, i struggled to kind of like get my head around it to start with um but it, it it, need, it needs to be written like that and I'm so glad and then as she kind of changes and grows and goes on this journey that kind of fades and it's just amazing honestly um, my friend Katie actually I saw her add this to her like want to read list on Goodreads and I was like oh that looks interesting um, you can usually pick this up quite cheap as well it's, I regularly see it for like three pounds in the works um it's just i would just highly recommend it especially for like young girls um <laughs> the, the the tagline on the back is inside every girl is a louding voice a voice to speak up for herself for the girls who came before her and for all those who will follow just amazing and finally my final book which has been my favorite for for a at least a year now um, and nothing has come anywhere close is this um, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Hosseini um, I've also read one of his other books The Kite Runner which was equally amazing but this one there's just something about this one that um, stuck with me so I'll read the blurb back to you very quickly just so that you um, kind of can get a grasp it says, Mariam is only 15 when she's sent to Kabul to marry Rashid. Nearly two decades later, a friendship grows between Mariam and a local teenager, Layla, as strong as the ties between mother and daughter. When the Taliban take over, life becomes a desperate struggle against starvation, brutality and fear. Yet love can move a person to act in unexpected ways and lead them to overcome the most daunting obstacles with a startling heroism. Let me tell you, this is... Some parts of this are a difficult read, like it's disturbing it's heart-wrenching but it's so important like so important to read in order to understand um life obviously what we see on the news when we hear about afghanistan and the war is um this is about what's what's really happening in real people's lives at that time and it's just yeah, it's just gut wrenching basically. This is another one that I got very emotional at. Um, I was saying he just he just writes it in a way where, although there's lots of kind of like place names and names and things which could be confusing because it's not in um, like my spoken language. Not 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 once did I get confused about where I was or what I was reading or who he was describing. And at times you will think you can't carry on reading because it's that disturbing. Let me tell you, there's characters I loved and there's characters I hated, like hated to my core. Um, but I think that just shows how well written it is that you, you can feel so invested in these characters. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop there, but just, I just think everybody should read this book. It's just so eye-opening and like life changing like as extreme as that seems about a book i i just i loved it so much and callum actually read this recently i've been bugging him for ages i'm like you need to read a thousand splendid sons you need to read it and he read it and he loved it and like also <laughs> hated the same person that i hated um but yeah i just i, ca I cannot recommend this book enough there we go there's my really random collection of books that i've loved recently i will continue sharing um as i read over on instagram if you want to come and follow me over there um and i think i'm going to start doing kind of like monthly favorite videos so obviously each month when i do those i will include my favorite books of that month that i've read so i can kind of try and keep on top and share with you guys what i've been enjoying because i know lots of you um are in need of and wanting book recommendations and i really hope that i can help you with that but yes if you're going to read any three books now for the rest of the year make it these three because honestly i adore them all so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and um, make sure you click subscribe if you're not already i do lots of like travel home disney lots of disney um vlogs 
but I'm also just trying to do like more just normal day to day life bits and pieces like this. I'm doing like a weekly vlog this week, um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, just just a random assortment of things which I really hope that you will stick around for. So thank you so much for watching um, and see you next time.